Hi there. So you might want to sell points to your members or you might want to actually gamify your website and you want to give them a way to actually buy points and earn them and whatever. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to make a purchase system for the points. To do that, we need the a plugin called MyCred, which is a plugin that handles all the points thing, uh, all the functionality with the points. And to actually sell the points, we need a card plugin like WooCommerce. So to do that, we have our WordPress installation. We have to add the plugins. So we go to plugins, add new. We type MyCred. We install it and activate it. Right now, in my installation, it is activated. After that, we got a, we got to get WooCommerce, which you can get if you type WooCommerce. Also, you have links to the plugins in the article, so you shouldn't have a problem finding them. Then, after you are installing and doing the basic configuration on both of them, you can actually start working on your product on your points. So to do that, you have to make a new product. So let's say add new. Here we do all the data introduction for WooCommerce as you would do with any regular product. So let's say test product, product is going to be virtual, is going to be downloadable. The price will be set to zero in our case, but you can set it to whatever you prefer. Uh, you can also do the inventory, the description, anything for the product. Even though if you are going to follow the method, you don't need the description because the client, actually the visitor won't be able to see the product page. And then when you are all set with the details, with the price, with the description, with everything, you just click on reward with points, you enter the amount of points you want to give them for the product. So you say, if you want to sell 20 points for this product, you add 20 there. And that should be all. When the user is going to buy the, the product from you, they're going to get those points. But if you don't want them to go through the whole process with the product page, the cart page, and then to get at the checkout page, and you just want them to press on a button on your homepage or whatever you want to place it and send them directly to a checkout page where they put their card information and they directly buy the points. We have to add an extra step to that because WooCommerce wasn't designed to work like that. But first of all, let's finish the product. Let's say we want to give them 10 points. We publish the product. And now we have to, as I said in the article, we have to add this code to the functions that PHP file in the team so for that we are suggesting you to create a child team and for that you have this article wrote by my colleague Dosite. Um, you have the link to the article in my article so you should be fine with that um, then you have to simply copy the code here Put everything the whole code here we copy it we go to our website here. We go to the functions.php file. Right now, I I can't get to it because this is a special installation. You get, you get the code, you post it at the bottom of the file, and it, it should be working. So from that moment on, if, you, if your users are going to click on the link that you'll put on the button, they will take them directly to the checkout page. Also, for the link, you can't just put a random product link because that won't work. So let's say we edit the sample page. Let's use it as an example for for the application. We say that we want to put the link on the navigation keyword, right? We add a link and we use the following pattern. So as you can see here in the article, I added the, another page bin thing with the link example. So let's say 
we want to use this link. So in our case, it will be https forward slash forward slash memberfix.rocks forward slash add to cart equals the product ID. So you can change memberfix rocks with your website. And also you can change, you have to change the product ID with your product ID. And how you find that? You go to products, all products. You put your mouse here and you can see ID 7. So in our case, it would be the link add to cart equals 7. And that should send your user directly to the checkout page where they can add the credit, the credit card information and that's it. You'll have the point. Please let us know in the comment section if this was useful to you. And also if you have, if you applied it to your site, we would be happy to, to see it. So if you want to share the link with us, please do so. Thank you.